Triumph 675 from GP Bikes, young lad out of Newcastle, Ontario, making his way to the podium right now. Welcome, please, Nuno Almeida. You know, as you make your way up to the podium, you'll be followed by the entire motorsport parts of Paul Pearson on our site. And Paul will give you your trophy, and I'm sure you'll find a spot on the uh, shelf at home and join your third place uh, trophy from Mont Tremblant as well. And so now we call up our second place finisher, a young speedster out of Sarnia, Ontario, who's been going faster and faster each and every round. Whether he moves into the pro ranks next year remains to be seen. My pleasure to call to the podium in second spot, Will La Hornblower! as you take your position on the podium here in the presentation from Canadian Tire Motorsport Park of your second place trophy. Thank you again, Paul. And now to the top of the box, the winner of the Amateur Sport Bike Race and the Amateur Sport Bike National Championship, Philippe Basset. Philippe? Let's get over and have a quick chat with Nuno Almeida as Paul Pierce follows Philippe up to the uh, podium here. You know, great to see you on the podium again. It's uh, great to be here, uh, close to home. I've been waiting uh, for something like this for a long time. You know, uh, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, formerly most sports attractions with a lot of history. And, uh, you know, living in Newcastle, 15 minutes from here. Uh, I, I am delighted to be here. You know, that's, uh, I didn't want to end the day with a little, little bit of a rash on the, uh, the Bazaz Superbike race, but I'm okay. Hey, did the folks from GT Bikes get out to see you this time? Uh, there were a couple of guys here. Uh, as always, uh, my crew chief, Dan Lambert, he is a Triumph uh, factory technician at GP Bikes. So, uh, and it was nice to see a couple of the other guys come by as well. Uh, obviously, this season wouldn't have been possible without the help from GP Bikes. Uh, I'd like to thank Jeff Bolt at GP Bikes for helping out with uh, getting the sponsors on board, Motovan, your course of performance. And I'm not going to forget this time, Hindle Exhaust for making that Triumph sound so awesome on the track <laughs> armor bodies body work and uh you know my family uh great support all the hours that i spent in my garage building that bike over the winter and uh you know and everybody's here my friends uh co-workers you know chris i bought my bike using his iphone <laughs> so thanks <laughs> And obviously, my daughter's ecstatic. We got another trophy to bring home this season. So this being the first season back since uh, I raced in the SVs uh, back in 2008, and the first time on a sport bike, uh, I wanted a top five. I wanted to see if I could compete with these young kids. And uh, I, I finished twice on the podium, once in the dry, once in the wet. And now uh, I, I got third place in the championship as well. So uh, I'm, I'm super ecstatic. Congratulations, Neil. Let's move over here and talk to our second place finisher, the speedster out of Sarnia, Ontario, Will Hornblower. Good race, kid. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a fun race. Uh, too bad Trevor crashed. I uh, wish I could have actually passed him instead of him throwing it down in the last lap. But I'll take it. It was, it was great. Do we have some people to think uh, in order to thank? I think. Uh, of course. Uh, first and foremost, my dad. He uh, pays for everything, allows me to go racing. Uh, Tony at Blue Streak Racing, uh, Jamie Bruins at Propulsion Racing, uh, uh, WCK Honda for all their help, uh, and my family and all the marshals and CSPK for letting us do this. Well said. Will Hornblower in second spot. Now let's talk to our winner. And let me start things off by saying two words that I think will bring a smile to your face. National champion. That's cool. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your race. It was a really fun race. I had a good battle with uh, Trevor. Uh, I knew I was a bit uh, faster in the last section of the, the race. So uh, we had some good pass. He was faster than me in number three. So uh, sometime when he point there, I was let him go because I really wanted to win that race. Even if I already had the championship, I just wanted to finish in a really good note so uh, sometimes he passed me in the three I know I couldn't make it here so it was a pretty fun race I think that people pretty much enjoyed it we're passing front like that it was a, we had a really good pace uh, it was really fun really fun race well said there are the people we need to thank uh, first of all all my friends and family that uh, are here or gonna be here this weekend uh, for the sponsor now it's pretty easy because I can see my bike there so uh, 
Racingfield.com, that's my website. If you want to go there and help me, support me, next year I'm going to, as a pro, probably going to need more tire than just a set per weekend. So uh, you can go there. Um, Program B for the parts. Uh, big, big thanks to Elena Roche, La Suspension, that helped me throughout the years to understand a bit more how the suspension works. Uh, helped me with uh, some advice and uh, the adjustment I should do. Uh, for sure, big thanks to uh, Corn Dog as well that uh, provided me a spring for my, my fork uh, today, and uh, John Shawar that rebuilt my truck as well. Uh, Motovan that helped me a lot with parts. Uh, other than that, FC51 Custom that did the paint on my bike. This paint is two years old, still holding pretty, pretty good, even if I did some damage to it at Tremblant. And uh, other than that, uh, Patrice Goyet that did the mapping for me. Uh, and uh, I really, really want to thank all the people that uh, we are hanging, our little crew that we are hanging every race with. It's, it's really fun. Racing is just half of it. You know? The other half is in the pits. It's drinking a beer with the friends and just having fun, a little barbecue. I can't ask for more. Well said, he can't ask for more. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your podium top three finishers from the Inside Motorcycles Amateur Sport Bike Championship Final here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Now, just before we go to Champagne as well, there's one small award that we have to recognize as well. You know, in Kitchener-Waterloo, there's a little company called Performance Undergear that makes the suits that the riders wear underneath their leather suits. And this company, Performance Undergear, each and every amateur uh, sport bike race by Inside Motorcycles, presents us with a full set of undergear, performance undergear, to the performer of the race, the rider who most impressed us with his riding skill on the racetrack. And this time around, the award goes to Will Hornblower! Congratulations, Will.